All right, I'm going to attempt to take down my Marmot Tungsten UL2 tent from the inside out. Um, I have not tried this before. I had it set up last night to um, go through some thunderstorms to see how well it did. And I've got a couple of spots I'm going to attend to where the hay drip. Not, it did not drip into the tent. It, it, it's like two or three drips and it ran down the mesh. But anyway, I'm going to attempt to take it down from the inside out. This isn't, you know, if I were having to pack up in the rain, I would want to keep as much of the inside dry, everything dry as possible. So, all right. We're going to start. Like I said, I have not done this before. This is all speculation. I'm hoping it's going to all work out. I'm going to start by undoing, reaching out the door and doing a few clips here at the top. Back here. And go ahead and get that one. Now the problem is going to be how this rainfly attaches up here. I hope I can do this with one hand take off the black clip. Yes, that worked. Then, this is to set the, uh, to let the, uh, to free up the mesh inside. And there we go, that'll work. And then that can just hang free. All right. So we can take off, ouch, some more of these clips. And as you can see, everything's coming undone. The mesh is falling down, which is exactly what I want it to do. And I'll have to move my stuff from the inside, the mesh, to the outside in just a moment. Let's get this other thing undone. There we go. All right, there's a little moisture there. I think that's condensation. All right. All the clips are undone. Now I need to. Let's see. When I set the tent up, I purposely I have these little tabs. You see the little white part right here? These are tabs from my um, ground sheet. I put them on the here first, and then put the pole in the grommet of the corner. I did that so that I could undo this part here from down there. I still have this on here to hold the pole. So let me set the phone down and use two hands to get that undone. Uh, I will have to note, you'll have to loosen this up. This is all tied down tight. So loosen that right there. And then it should be able to, with two hands, lift the foot of the pole. Out of the grommet. Okay, which I've done. The other thing is going to be, technically I guess this will have to be undone. I would hope there wouldn't be a windy situation that would carry this thing off, except that you still have the Velcro here and up here on each pole that should hold it. So you have to undo 
this from there. I take that out of that grommet. Now see it's still being held by the uh, ground sheet. And you'll have to reach out here and hopefully be able to pull those up easily like it was. So there, you have to do that for each corner. And I've just got my ground sheet. All right, let me get that done on each corner. All right, each corner uh, of the mesh inside inner body is has been released. Now, anything that you had on the inside of the tent needs to be moved to out here. So let me get that done. All right. So now I will get this all folded up. All right, and keeping in mind the uh, how wet this is the rainfly is going to be, I probably ought to keep say a uh, like a plastic. Uh, this is what my tent goes into. Um, probably ought to throw in a plastic grocery bag and keep it in here so that when I roll this up put it in the grocery bag and put it somewhere on the outside of my pack so that when I stop for a break or at lunch if it's not raining I can um, unfold it and let it kind of dry off if it will alrighty now here's the tougher part let me get my stuff the rest of the stuff put into the pack all right, I've got most everything packed up into my pack. Um, I haven't put this away. This is what I use underneath my sleeping pad. I'm going to put this on before I go in the house. Um, I'm going to leave this out to meal on here in a minute when I, because I've got to roll this up and get it put away. So, let's see what the next thing to do is. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to take this bar out. I don't know how I'm going to do that because it's tensioned. Unless I undo that a little bit. I just don't want to poke a hole in the tent. Can't fold it up. There we go. Slip that like that. Zip that back up. Now, I can fold that pole up. Put that away. All right, now, we got a saggy tent. So, I guess the next thing to do is undo this uh, ground sheet on all four corners. I'll undo the ground sheet, and I guess you just poke this in the ground because to keep it from uh, splaying out man imagine if it was actually raining hard I'd probably sit in here and wait I can hear a little sprinkle but it's not much my ground sheet. All right, now it's down to getting the rain fly off <clears throat> without getting myself too wet. So, I will, let's see what I need to do first. I think first I'll put my jacket on. I can hear my dog growling. She must be watching me through the window or watching the tent flopping around. She's kind of making a funny whiny growly noise. <clears throat> I guess the best thing would be to undo the Velcro. There are two pieces on each uh, corner. Now at this point, if a wind came up, it would certainly take the rain fly with it. 
but it's not the wind is not really blowing so I don't have to worry about that right now but that would be something to consider if you were out on a uh, ridge camping or a um, bald or anywhere where the wind is whipping alrighty now what let's see I'm trying to plan my my attack the best line of attack well I guess that this point it doesn't matter you're gonna have to get wet because you're fixing to get out from under it all right so if I pull that up and let that oops it wrapped around it let that pole go free and that too ow okay so it fell on me which is fine at this point. I guess I'll just have to stand up. And oh yeah, each vestibule is still um, staked out. Okay, well if I do this, if it's raining, I can just keep my gear dry and fold up my poles. Let me do that. And get the bag, get everything goes in. Put the poles away. Get the stakes all rounded up. Alright. So at this point, he would get out of the tent. Get the remaining stakes. fold it up and put it away. So, okay, that worked. I mean, that pretty much kept everything else dry, and you can see up under the rain fly that it's still dry there, even with all that rain. I guess because of the grass, it kept it from running. All right, well, I'll get this folded up and put away. Well, that wasn't too bad. It's doable. Hope that helps. Um, <clears throat> it's good for me to have gone through this and tried it and know what I need to expect if I have to actually do this. Um, hope that helps you in taking down your tent in a rainy situation. Alrighty. Here comes Chester to visit me. Chester is a cat that got a broken tail, as you can see. He walked up as a kitten to my parents' house. No, no. Back up. And anyway, he came home with us and stayed. But he's unique because he's got that broken tail. Looks so weird. Curled up. Uh-huh.